but uh, we are learning to identify the name and describe 3D shapes. What makes a shape 3D? So 3D stands for three dimensional shapes. So these shapes are solid or hollow. You can hold them in your hand. They've got three dimensions and the three dimensions are length, width and height. So you can see some of the pictures that are here. So I want you to have a think about how you can describe these 3D shapes and see if you can remember what makes the shape 3D. Can you identify the name of these two 3D shapes? First off, you might want to ask yourself is what is the name of this 2D shape and this 2D shape? That may help you remember what the 3D shape name is. Pause the video here. If you guess cube and cuboid, you are correct. Looking at this shape here, so this is a 3D shape, you will have seen this in your real life. And this here is the image of the 3D shape. Do you know what it is? You're correct. Its correct name is a sphere. Here is another 3D shape, and you may have seen this 3D shape in real life as well. Do you know what it's called? It's called a prism. Here is another 3D shape. You will know the front shape, the 2D shape, as a triangle. But when it's put together like this, it becomes a 3D shape. And this is an example of a 3D shape in real life. It's called a pyramid. Can you identify and name this 3D shape? You may see it like this around the school ground or your town, or you may see it like this on a hot summer's day. You're correct, it's a cone. Can you identify and name this 3D shape? So you see this in everyday life, and if you have a gas barbecue, you may see this shape as well. It's a cylinder. Here are some names of the 3D shapes that we've just looked at. And what I want you to think about is when you describe your 3D shape, I want you to think how many faces does your 3D shape have? Here's an example in the top corner of a cube, which is this shape over here. Part of a 3D shape that is flat is the face. So an example, a cube has six faces, but there's six flat faces to this cube. As well as faces, we can use the word vertices and edges to also describe the 3D shape. So we've just talked about the faces, which is the side of the shape, and the vertices are another word of saying the corners. So you can count up how many corners the shape has. And the edges are the last thing that we would use to be able to describe and explain your 3D shape. The arrows are pointing to the different types of edges. Here is a picture and image of showing some different 3D shapes and it tells you how many faces the shape has got, how many edges the shape has got and how many vertices the shape has got. You may want to pause the video here so you can have a read and a look at them. I'm asking you to sketch two different 3D shapes in your book and you need to use a ruler and draw arrows pointing to the following on your drawings. I want you to clearly label the faces and tell me how many faces you've got on your 3D shape. I want you to draw an arrow pointing to the vertices and count how many vertices you have for that 3D shape. And then I also want you to point to the edges and count the edges for that 3D shape. Make sure you have that ready when you come down to your workshop. Until next time.